Hey guys, it's day 987. We're doing chest and tries. Oh, I made myself before coming out 189. Oh, damn, boy. Oh, yeah. I, honestly, though, this, this might be copium, but it might be some muscle, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might be a pound or two of muscle. A lot of fat. That was good. A lot of fat, though. Boy. <laughs> I like it. Oh, is that for Chinese? I like it. Chinese is good, actually. Chinese! I left over. What did I have? I had eggs and toast for breakfast and pasta for fucking dinner. I'm a carb machine, dude. Carb only. Yeah, basically. You like it. But yesterday I had a piece of food. Carb only. Carb only. Bro, honestly, there was a point where I was actually like eating more meat and it was actually like eating clean and stuff and it was good, but yeah. I don't know what's been happening. Like, I, I know this is a, an excuse and I'm not trying to blame her at all for it, but my mom's been a little bit more busy, so I think like she hasn't been really been cooking like the same kind of meals. Oh yeah. It's been more like frozen food and shit, so. But, like, I could always make my own shit, so that's not an excuse. Still a ten up. Was that even a ten? I don't remember. Man, 
I was listening to this debate today. Yeah. Oh, man. Some people are just so insufferable to listen to. Yeah. Like, there's just one guy. I think that one of the some people I hate the most in debates is when people don't let fucking people talk. It makes oh, yeah, me so mad. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, you don't let me talk, though. It's like, no, bro. And you're literally interrupting this guy all the time. Yeah. It's not even know why I put up with it for 40 minutes. They didn't even really have any meaningful arguments. All the guy was doing was insulting the guy's wife and kids. It was so stupid. Oh, yeah. What was the debate about? Uh, basically, I guess this, it was this one guy. I don't think really a good debate, but he talked shit about his family and his wife or whatever. Because like I guess that, that was just a side note, but I guess the main talking point was how about this one guy said that uh, women that wear, because I, mean, I don't know if you've heard, but there's some women that wear some sort of device here, so if they get raped, that they get hurt, uh, the, the rapist gets hurt. I've never heard of that. No. And like, well, which is like whatever, like if it makes you more comfortable, whatever, right? Yeah. But the, the guy, the, I guess the one guy that was like kind of more so the antagonist kind of said like oh you know he, they should be sent to jail for doing that you know like stuff like that and then the, and the thing that's the it's like I personally think it is kind of dumb to think if somebody's trying to protect themselves yeah. and then they get you know great yeah. Yeah. and then they get hurt that like no I don't think that, I don't think I don't yeah, think she should be sent to jail you know what I mean yeah. so it's just a dog shit take you uh, know okay. yeah. the same guy, not not the antagonist, the, the guy I actually been watching a bit, uh, did a take on uh, the Mr. Beast thing, yeah. like against somebody who was like disputing it, yeah. and it's so funny how dumb these, these the super woke like yeah. people's take is on this shit. Do you want to try it high? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, like, this dog shit take. <laughs> well, just basically like blaming capitalism on it and everything, which like, okay, but the thing is, is it's not Mr. Beast's fault. The system is the way it's the way the yeah, system is. Awesome. He's, he's sure, he's getting publicity, and making money off of it, but he and it, but basically the guy that was the protagonist, in my opinion, was kind of saying like he's using, he's making, he's doing the best thing about capitalism. You know what yeah. I mean? Spending the money that he's making, you know. From all this to help people. Could be buying Lamborghini. Exactly. You know what I mean? And like, I think in the video, they, I didn't know this. They bought a guy like a, I guess he could drive. Cause yeah, they bought yeah. a Tesla or whatever. So I just like, he, he, he did a test drive then the video. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and like, and like the person that was like on the side of like it being gross is kind of like, oh, after watching this video, I felt disgusted and stuff. You know, all this stupid dog shit. It's really like a heartwarming. Yeah. Video. It's just so so. It's like oh, it's so like this, this, and that. And like it's just kind of funny because the whole video. You, I know there wasn't a debate, but he was just commenting over it, and it was just a non-argument, you know? Like, I think basically, which I think is fair for everybody, it does suck to say, to feel like in the system, that there's people that, I guess supposedly 50% of blindness is curable, yeah, you know what I mean? Thing, yeah, yeah like, which they said in the video. And it's like 10 minutes long. It's yeah, and it's like, it sucks how that's not a government funded thing. Yeah, I don't think anybody's fucking disputing that. I don't think no, anybody's saying, no, no, it should be very expensive to fix your eyes. Nobody's saying that. Everybody I'm sure everybody thinks it should be more accessible. accessible yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, there's not an argument there. But then she's just like, oh, you know, Mr. Beast is not. What an evil it's like, guy. it's nothing it's about too. him, bro. And the thing is, too, he's not taking like public money. He's taking his own money yeah. to do that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, it's so, I don't know. It's just it's like, it's not a complaint. Complaint to the government. Exactly. Yeah, like it's that sending money to Ukraine at $100 billion. Yeah. Like, it shouldn't be anything about him, like, you know, like, it shouldn't be anything about him as a person because I think what he's doing is sure the system like there's no perfect system you know what I mean yeah. like he's for a lot of systems parts of the system I mean it's like a system that a lot of people disagree with whatever he's taking it and he's doing the best 
he's, it's like it's such a good like um, humanitarian thing to be doing. You know what I mean? Helping all these people with their eyes. No, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. He, what he could do is he could just fucking make ad revenue money and then you know buy Lamborghinis, not spend this money on people at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just it's so stupid how somebody tries to be something good, but then there's some people who try to make them the bad guy. It's like no, don't fucking be mad at him. Be mad at the health system, in my opinion. Yeah. If Absolutely. there's anything to be mad at, be mad at that. Yeah, Don't be mad real. at the individual. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. So, like, really. It would be worse because, like, you need to be about man, this is crazy. Blind people and shit, you know? If you guys donate to me, I'll fix all their eyesight. Something like that. It's a little bit yeah. more fucked up, right? I'm assuming this is impromptu, and he just did it. He just did it pro bono. If it's good, like, I don't know, he just felt good, so like, you wanted to help people. That's all you want to do. And it's not like it was, I'm sure he got publicity out of it, too. Yeah. But even so, even if he did, like, you know, have, and I, I, I'm not saying he, like, this is even a bad thing necessarily, but even if there was a bit of thinking, like, oh, you know what, this might also help me monetize my channel more and make more yes. money to help more people. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's his whole channel. Like, he's been doing that for like, years. It's silly, man. He's been buying people houses. Yeah, or... and, and it's not even out of character. Character either. Like, let's say, for example, Logan Paul did this video. Yeah, like, right. I would respect right. this a little bit less, you know what I mean? I'd be like, hmm, you know what, is this a publicity stunt yeah. to try to do some, you know, cover up these scam allegations? Yeah. yeah. Like that, I feel way worse about that. Yeah. But Mr. Beast, as far as I know, he's not really done anything like that. Yeah, he's been doing the same thing for years. Exactly. Like consistently. <laughs> Almost two plates! No. Ten pounds off. Right, yeah. Five oh, yeah, I don't know if I do this. Try your best. You didn't get like four, that's pretty good. Yeah. Or three or four. Progress. At least, like, how many, whatever. Yeah, Pro probably fresh, three, I'd say. Like, yeah. now, obviously, it'd be harder, but I'm sure if you went into it, like, after a warm up and it was your first set. Yeah. yeah. I, I bet you could do three. Well, let's try it. What, I don't know, I'll, I'll just do a plate for the bush. Or what was we were you doing for the bush? We were doing uh, one later, right? five and something. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't think I was going to set for the bush. Yeah. Need 25 to 10? Uh, sure. Actually, do 25 and 5, I think. Yeah. It's not a 
confident I can put up 30 up quick. Oh, man, maybe it's all the cream team. Maybe, I gotta start taking cream team again. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, I really don't know if it was causing hair loss. I just think it was a part of my life where I had stress going on and I was yeah. being overly uh, observant of it and I was getting pissed. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was not stress. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I haven't been stressed in a while though. That's been good. Yeah, it is good. I really had any like, well for what it's worth, I haven't been in any exceptionally stressful situations, but regardless, I remember before I get stressed about stupid shit. Oh well, yeah. Tastes fine. Yep. Oh yeah, we can keep going until you like die. Stop. Okay, I'm shaking. Push one more. Yep. Or, uh, oh, two tens. Two tens, okay. Five off two tens, okay. Yeah. Where's the floor? My court's really wet today, it's not oh, good. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Protein powder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Because I asked my buddy at work this question. Yeah. His answer's a bit different though, because he's got two kids and a wife. Right. That should be different than us. Maybe I just don't have that perspective. Uh, let's say if you could work a job, like a factory job, kind of just mindless, like easy, do this thing every day. Yeah. But if you made $100 an hour, would you, would you do it for the rest of your life? Eight hours? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that? Maybe, maybe it's a bit high. I told my buddy 50, but like that's, I know for your sake. You want to sooner K a year. Would you do it? Huh. Mm. That's so it, just, it just makes it, I think for me it's interesting to me. It brings up the question, what is a job for most people? Yeah, you know what right? I mean? Is a job just a way to make money? That's what my buddy does. It's like, I can agree. Yeah. But like, would you never live a happier life doing something you feel good about, and you're excited and yeah. engaged about? But then his rebuttal, which is kind of fair, is in a way everything kind of becomes mundane and kind of boring as you get more experience. Like, let's say you find this career that you're killing it in and you get really, really good. But by the time you're 40, there's nothing really super new to learn and you kind of just feel like it's boring and easy for you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah you can make that So I think that's fair. But I also feel like if you're doing something that makes you feel good, I don't know if all of a sudden you're like, oh man, you know what? I'm giving all these people eyes to me. I, I, I can change, or like that's not a great example, but like if you're doing something that actually has a good impact and changes people's lives and brings happiness to you, I would be surprised if that gets old. You know what yeah. I mean? It gets old in some capacity. Maybe it doesn't feel as good as the first few times you do it, but I think if you find something you genuinely enjoy doing and you're happy to do, yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. If you're doing the same thing over and over and over yeah. again, I kind of feel like you probably get like, depressed way faster and like, yeah. I don't know. It's like you're making a lot of money. Yeah. But you're like turning off your brain for eight hours yeah. a day. Yeah. It's a lot of hours. Oh, I agree. Like eight hours a day. And if you think about it, like of your life, that's such a large percentage. Yeah, it's like 30% of your life. Yeah, exactly. It's like shit. Like, like oh, well, let's say arguably you start working said job that you like would be kind of boring or whatever, but make a lot of money when you're like 20 or 21, and you're doing that until you're probably in your 50s. Yeah. Because it's, it's kind of like, um, you kind of like turn off your life for, for 30 Yeah, exactly. Right? Because you're just doing like a mindless, you know, same thing over and over. Like, it may be, maybe I, maybe I got, I've done too much of an optimist here, but I would just be under the impression I could find something I enjoy doing and feel good about and make an okay living. Yeah, make less. Yeah, rather than just be like, you know what, 
I'm gonna be doing this for 30 years. It's gonna suck ass, but I'm gonna be able to retire comfortably and all yeah. this. So it's not like you're giving up the eight hours. Yeah. For the money. Exactly. And for me, like, let's say for example, if I could maybe 25 bucks an hour, but do a job I love, which isn't all that money, but whatever. Yeah. Or make make double that, but do a job that's mindless like this. It's like I'd probably pick the cheaper option. Yeah. I don't know. Just for me. But, okay, how, how about this then? Would you rather do a job, like let's say, let's say that you kind of make the same income you make now, but you're doing a job you love, or do a job that you kind of pay for double? Would you choose the uh, what you're doing now? Or would Honestly, you... yeah, choose what I'm doing now. Yeah, I agree. Like, when you hate your job, it really affects your life. Oh, I could have known, you know, really right? Does. That's why people become like alcoholics, yeah. and all this other garbage. But it's like, you know, it's easy to just like uh, brush it off. Like, oh, it's only eight hours. That's what it's like. Still, it's three percent of your day. Oh, you know, it's more because you're sleeping for the other eight hours. <laughs> so it's like half your day. Exactly, like half your wake day. Half your wake day. That's a lot. That's the thing I feel, man. It's just like I don't know. It's just too much of a sacrifice for me. And it's kind of funny because my dad asked me this yesterday. We're just talking about shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, what, what am I doing for this? I need to file on both tens on. You can file off. And I put two tens. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. But uh, he kind of said to me, and I wonder if you can say this about yourself too. It's like when you wake up and you do your job, and when you're done, what part of that day did you have fun? You know what I mean? Because you're kind of talking to me about human beings are having less fun than they should. You know what I mean? So it's crazy to think you spend eight hours of your day, don't have an ounce of fun. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Doesn't that kind of suck? Half your day. Half your day is just no fun at all. <laughs> like, it's not miserable. You could be like okay with it, but like maybe we, maybe we should find things that are more fun for us. Things we can enjoy. Like Mr. Beast. Mm. <laughs> I bet he has fun. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> never knows. Yeah. Welcome to the world of war. Yeah, that's one thing that's hard too, right? It's like, do you think that you have the ticket to happiness? Like, you know, like let's say for example, somebody's like, oh yeah, if I, if I could live Mr. Beast's life, it would fix all my problems and I'd be happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? But in the same sense, you never really know what's going on in somebody's yeah. head, right? It's interesting you brought that one YouTuber to me yeah, that was talking about that. that. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, it's crazy. It's 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 not everything. Yeah, you know? It's all relative, right? Like, yeah. sure, like, I don't know, he makes more money, but maybe for him, all the cool things he can spend money on don't matter anymore, you know what I mean? He's got yeah. so much money, it's like, hey, fuck it, you know, I can buy whatever I want. It's so, weird, because he's tall, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's funny. Yeah, I'm sure she has a full head of hair. Yeah, man, and he's pretty big. Yeah, bro. tall, full head of hair, lots of money. Yeah. But man, that's the recipe for success. Right? I mean, everybody. He's got like, uh, I think he's like 16 mil subscribers. Humongous. Wow. I'm like, damn. But he's still happy. It's a little shit. Really? Yeah, it's really shit. 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 Really It is still really interesting for me to hear about that one guy who went to that tribe and it said living that lifestyle cured his depression. Oh yeah. Like, you know, just being simple and just hunting and yeah. that's, all, that's all your days and hanging out with the tribe out there. Yeah, like, like, oh. being outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like connect with nature. Yeah. yeah. It's just like barefoot too. Yeah, dude. That's the thing, it's cool too. He's talking about how like, they always run barefoot and they're like running through jungle and shit, but their feet are all callous and stuff, so it doesn't hurt them. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I think I told you, I think I did like a while ago, but he said they would run for hours. Oh, yeah. like, they'd be cool. running for three or four hours. <laughs> and then he couldn't keep up. Yeah. <laughs>
Wait, do you want your gifts now? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I actually don't like them that much. You don't? No, do you like them? Oh, no, I thought you were the dippy. Oh, okay. no, it's just something. Hey, I got dips too, but then I can't. I said dippy dog. Yeah. Like, do you like that? You ever ate those? I, mean, I think I only tried it once. Yeah, I think I only tried it once too, but I don't know why. I don't remember what it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, dude, today I tried, tried to be less judgmental, but I couldn't help it. Uh -oh. Bro, you know that one guy we saw, like that was like <laughs> walking with that one girl. He's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah and he's like, oh, dude, dude. dude. I don't know, dude, what you doing this? Like, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, the one who's great today, he's like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what they're talking about. That's yeah, I think much. it was this thing. But then, bro, I saw this guy today when I was driving to work. I yeah. kid you not, his pants were like sagging down here. Yeah. And I'm guessing the guy was in his 20s. <laughs> but I just thought it funny because he was with this coworker that was probably like 40. I probably thought this guy's a fucking moron. Yeah. This guy's like a cigarette in his mouth. He's walking like this. What the At hell? 8 in the morning. And he's oh. blasting like some rap music from his <laughs> backpack from his Bluetooth speaker, oh, I'm just like, bro, like, in the morning too. <laughs> like, I get it, when I was a kid, maybe I, well, when I was in, I was like, oh, cool, I want to do that too, and fit in, it's like, bro, you're a fucking 20, yeah. like, it is what it is, do you, but makes you happy, but some part of me just kind of thinks, like, it's kind of weird, bro, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, I think it hangs in the pants, you're like, oh, I know, down to the it's like, it's not even comfortable, it's probably not even good for you, like, walking like that. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm really trying to push it, but my arms just couldn't get enough. Uh -oh. Ow! Nice and tight, dude. Mm. Some days are so strange. I feel like we talked a decent amount this day, today, so I feel like the sex are still flying by. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then yeah, some days when it's leg day, I'm like, uh, maybe I maybe, maybe with chest day, I like we genuinely enjoy doing it more. So it's not as big of like uh, breaks between. Whereas the leg day, you know, I'll do like fucking squats and we're like, fuck, just sit down for a bit. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> I'm a savage. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ow. Ow. It's a good workout though, man. Someone made a parody video. Yeah. Of uh, Joe Rogan and David Goggins on like Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. But they had this other guy they like, threw in the mix. Yeah. It was a really fat guy that was on the show. Okay. <laughs> it was like David saying like, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> oh, <honestly. laughs> the guy's like face just sitting there. Yeah. And then like a guy offered like a, a cupcake. And he just like starts serving him more. He's like, you're, you're gonna be a fat piece of shit for the rest of the <laughs> Like it's, it's almost like, oh, oh shit. Geez. 
but it's still good. Uh, I kind of like it when people put things out of context. Oh, yeah. You know, they inject things to make things funny. It's still good. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty funny the way he talks. Oh, yeah. Alright, alright, good workout. Alright guys, 987C. <laughs>